안녕하세요. 안착희입니다. Welcome to this edition of Let's Speak Korean, where we learn the language the easy way. 안녕하세요, 지승현 선생님. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요, 지승현입니다. I hope you are ready to learn some more useful Korean expressions. 만나서 반갑습니다. Now, in our last lesson, we learned how to talk about events that happened in the past when we are in a formal setting or when we're talking with people that we are not very familiar with. Now, let's go for a quick review, shall we? Now, 선생님, 어제 무엇을 했습니까? 우체국에 갔습니다. Now, when we form the past tense for verbs and adjectives, we add either 었습니다 or 었습니까. Now, why do we usually go to the post office, by the way? Now, of course, it's usually to send letters or packages, right? Well, in this lesson, this is what we're going to learn. We're going to learn how to express one's objective in taking a certain action. Let's take a look at the clip now. Hello. 편지를 보내려고 합니다. 어디에 보내려고 합니까? 싱가포르에 보내려고 합니다. 1,900원입니다. 싱가포르까지 얼마나 걸립니까? 일주일쯤 걸립니다. All right. Now, Michael is at the post office because he wants to send a letter. Now, when he is asked where he wants to send his letter, he answers that he wants to send it to Singapore. Now, he is told that the cost of postage to Singapore is 1,900 won and that it takes about a week for his letter to get there. All right, then, let's get a check of the expressions in this lesson. We're going to learn how to use 의료고 하다 to express the objective of the subject. Now, before we do that, let's go over some new vocabulary so that we can learn those expressions. Please repeat after 선생님. 편지를 보내다. 편지를 보내다. 우표를 사다. 우표를 사다. 소포를 찾다. 소포를 찾다. Very good. Now, well then, let's find out how these words are used in everyday conversation by taking a look at the clip. 편지를 보내려고 합니다. 어디에 보내려고 합니까? 싱가포르에 보내려고 합니다. 편지를 보내려고 합니다. 어디에 보내려고 합니까? 싱가포르에 보내려고 합니다. Michael tells the post worker that he wants to send a letter. Now, how did he say this? 편지를 보내려고 합니다. 편지를 보내려고 합니다. The post worker in turn asks Michael where he wants to send his letter. Now, what was the expression in Korean? 어디에 보내려고 합니까? 어디에 보내려고 합니까? Now, Michael answers that he wants to send it to Singapore. In Korean now. 싱가포르에 보내려고 합니다. 싱가포르에 보내려고 합니다. So we ran across the expression 의료고 합니다 several times already in this lesson. Now this is used to tell someone what we want to do, that is what our objective is. Now then it states the objective of the subject or the purpose of an action. Now 선생님, mm -hmm. uh, could you tell us how to use this expression? Of course. There are two cases depending on how the verb stem ends. Okay, the first is when the stem of the verb ends in a consonant. In this case, we add 의료고 하다. But when it ends in either the character 리을 or a vowel, we add 리어고 하다. 
We're moving on now to learn how to form complete sentences with the phrases that we have learned. Now, since we're at the post office, which is a formal setting, we want to use polite expressions that we have learned in our previous lesson. Let's get a review with something new. 편지를 보내려고 합니다. 우표를 사려고 합니다. 소포를 찾으려고 합니다. Now, this time, let's turn the tables a bit, and instead of answering uh, about what our objective is, let's ask someone about what their objective is. Now, remember that we can add the word ga to turn a sentence into a question. Now, uh, we heard the post worker asking what he can do for Michael. Now, what was the expression? 어떻게 오셨습니까? Now, this expression literally means, what brings you here, right? Now, that is, how can I help you? Now, this is a very useful expression, so let's try repeating it. 어떻게 오셨습니까? 어떻게 오셨습니까? We're now going to put together all of the expressions that we have learned up to this point to come up with some questions and answers about the objectives behind certain actions. All right then, how can I help you? 어떻게 오셨습니까? 편지를 보내려고 합니다. 어떻게 오셨습니까? 우표를 사려고 합니다. 어떻게 오셨습니까? 소포를 찾으려고 합니다. Time now for some extra expressions. Now, first of all, Michael asks how long it will take for his letter to reach Singapore. Now, how did he say this? 싱가포르까지 얼마나 걸립니까? 싱가포르까지 얼마나 걸립니까? 까지 means to and 걸립니까 is asking for the length of time it takes. Now, 에서 and 까지 mean from and to respectively. Now, in the sentence that we just saw, we have left out the words 여기에서, meaning from here. It doesn't change the meaning of the sentence, though. All right, then. It takes about a week. How would we say this in Korean? 일주일쯤 걸립니다. 일주일쯤 걸립니다. The word 쯤 here means about, so it means it takes about a week. Now, 일주일, of course, means one week. All right, then, let's go over the expressions one by one along with the clip. 